You're anyway. right. All right. All right. Let's move on to the Jets. <laughs> Four and twelve last year to win the division championship plus five hundred. So they got the second best odds. Uh, strength of schedule number thirty one. That is the second softest behind the Patriots. Turnover margin twenty seventh in the league last year. They were minus ten. Kind of to be expected with their right. rookie quarterback. Uh, head coach is Adam Gase now, former Miami coach. Uh, they're over under is seven. So over is minus 150. The juice on the under plus 120. They expect them to, to go over seven as opposed to under it. Uh, offense, total yards per play last year, number 29 in the league at 4.9 yards per play. Defense, total yards per play, number 21. They gave up 5.7 yards per play. That's a minus 0.8 difference. Not good. But they bring in uh, Dewell Loggins, Miami offensive coordinator from last year, and they bring in defensive coordinator Greg Williams, who did some good things in Cleveland. Uh, they drafted defensive tackle Keenan Williams. They Now, as far as offense goes, they brought in Jamison Crowder, uh, wide receiver, and they brought in Le'Veon Bell. I was about to say, that, that's not what they brought in. No, they brought in Le'Veon Bell. They brought uh, Le'Veon in Le'Veon Bell. Bell. Uh, Donald, who, who Adam Gates was pissed about and got the the uh, the general manager fired for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, former OC Jeremy Bates, his sporadic play calling definitely hindered the development of Sam Darnold early. They changed things up a little bit. Darnold actually led the NFL in QBR in December last year. Do you know that? Yeah, it was, it was safe. Passes. Yeah. They ran the ball a lot more, and and they threw a lot short, easy passes. Get his completion rate up. Let guys be athletes in the open field. It was yeah. smart. It's what um, you need to do with a rookie quarterback. They the so I said they drafted defensive tackle uh, Kenny Williams. They signed C.J. Mosley, linebacker from Baltimore. Defensive tackle Leonard Williams and uh, safety Jamal Adams are the the force of the defense, the okay. rock of the defense. They lead one of the league's most talented defenses. I was Greg Williams to say. has a ton to work with. Yes. Uh, they're projected favorites in only four games this year. Um, the first seven weeks are brutal, but, I mean, it's the second easiest schedule in the NFL. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I've got them eight and eight this year. Whoa! I like Sam Darnold. I think that he's going to – I think that Adam Gase can really work with him uh, so long as he can stay healthy because it, I liked Ryan Tannehill when he was healthy, when he was on the field. What Gase was doing with him in Miami – like, Gase always overachieved what I thought Miami was going to be. And now he's just got significantly more talent and a better defensive coordinator. So, I like them at 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, If they go 7-9, and 9-7, nine, nine and seven, either one wouldn't surprise me. Um, but I, I don't so, see... This is our first big difference. Okay. Big, big difference. I got them 4-12. and 12. And, and I'm going to tell you why. I... I don't like what Adam Gase. I think Adam Gase got lucky. We just talked about yeah. We Miami, just talked about Miami being like super having lucky. so many weird, fluky things happen to get them to seven wins. I like this defense. I think Greg Williams will be fine. But but I but I also think I also think this offense is going to struggle. I I don't know that when you don't have strong leadership in your locker room, bringing Le'Veon Bell into that locker room is not always the fix. Yeah, The coach openly having problems with them spending the amount of money they spent on Le'Veon. On Le'Veon Bell. Is, and, and everybody in the league knows that. I don't know that that's going to help make things go very smooth and kosher. I think chaos for young quarterbacks is always scary. Yeah, it it just something I don't like. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. When you're inexperienced at a level and there's constant churn and constant turnover, I it just scares me. I do think this defense has talent. I think Cleveland had a lot of talent on defense and they still went 0 and 16. Yeah. I, I bad offenses and turmoil in locker rooms kind of conquer everything. Okay. So you've got them four and twelve. I got them four and twelve. We're we're big different. On yeah, that. we're way off on that one. Now, I'm, I'm, eight I'm eight. gonna I'm gonna preface this by saying this is the NFL. Everybody that I have 12, 13 wins, if they finish nine and seven, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Everybody that I have two to four wins, if they finish seven and nine, it wouldn't surprise me. This is this is a league in which it's set up for everybody to go eight and eight. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Now, not everybody will, of course. Oh, no, but, it's not going to happen. But, but, that's, but that's the, the way, way it's set 